Poets write where they can, in the study, in the van. Lurking in a cardboard box, at the bus stop, down the shops, on a wall, an empty train, on a steamer bound for Spain. They'll work with groups of any age, as long as they've got a stage. Poets really do not care. Poets travel anywhere. Poets read anywhere. Byron, Wordsworth or John Clare. Poets whom the muse has chosen, Roger McGough or Michael Rosen. Rhymes or rhythms on the page, on the tube or on the stage. Chaucer, Milton, they don't care. Poets read anywhere. Poets dream everywhere. At work or in the classroom there. They're busy dreaming to prepare their dream into a shape to share. Poets' ears, fine radar tune, hear the sighing of the moon. In cafes, on golden beaches, in punnets of soft, fuzzy peaches. Poets ponder anywhere, hence the often gormless stare. Over breakfast, over tea, in a field or up a tree, in a mansion or a croft, school or tool shed, kitchen, loft. Not all there, this might be true, but working on a line or two. Poets listen everywhere, hear the wind and whispering air, hear the creak of stair or chair, the hoot of owl, the growl of bear. Behind a somewhat zombie stare, the poet ponders anywhere. While they eat or are online, everywhere there's space or time. On course or horse or kangaroo, even when they're in the loo. Whenever inspiration comes, poets sit upon their seats and write their thoughts. They sometimes rhyme, but it goes wrong from time to time. There's no escape, as you can see, Everywhere there's poetry or poets dreaming in a ponder as they travel, as they wander. So don't try to run away. Join in and write a poem today. And then before you even know it, you will also be a poet. So spread the words. It's fun to share. There are poets everywhere. Anywhere. Where they can. Anywhere. Anywhere. Everywhere. 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 Everywhere.